In the next couple of videos, I'm going to show you how to apply a technique for uh, detecting edges in images. And we're going to be using uh, Sobel filter to do so. And I'll be using Python as the language to code this. And uh, there's this distribution called Anaconda that comes pre-installed with modules that I'm going to be using. I think it's worth it because it comes with uh, pretty cool packages such as NumPy, uh, SciPy, sklearn, pandas. It has a lot of cool stuff, so I think it's worth having it. Um, by the way, the, all of these codes and images are going to be posted on my GitHub page. So just look at the, at the description and you'll be able to get them. So let me explain what I'm trying to achieve. Let's say you're given some input image such as this one, for example. The objective is to get an output which will show the edges associated with this image. So you're going to be getting another image, which is just the detail edges of this. Um, I'm going to run this code here just so you see what, what we'd be getting. And I'm not going to, this particular script, I'm not going to go through. And because in the next video, I'm going to go through something similar. And it's basically doing the same thing. So I'll go into details when we do this from scratch. So take a look at this. On your, on your left is the image that we wanted to find the, the edges. And the right is the desired output that we're going to be coding. And um, you can clearly see that we obtained the, the edges um, associated with this image. And all right, so let's see how to go about that. Uh, to start, I'm going to, before before just jumping in, I'm going to just run through some, through some small examples just so you see uh, the type of manipulations we'll be doing. So in this introduction script here, I'm going to be showing you small manipulations with matrices and the associated images. So for example, I'm going to import here NumPy and I'm going to run this matrix A. I'm creating this array A here, which is going to be a 3x3 three three patch. And it's going to be a representation of a grayscale image. So take a look at this. This, um, this array here, this matrix, it has the elements 119, 80, so on and so forth, until 152. Okay? They represent the grayscale values that go from 0 to 255. Um, the, the image associated with this, we can actually just use this line of code here and we'll be able to see what it represents. So as you can see, um, this first square here is associated with the 119. Then we have 80. Notice that the larger values such as one, such as the 212 is closer to white and the smaller the value like 25 here. Is going to be associated with the darker colors. Uh, so this is an example. Let's say we had this piece of grayscale image. So this is what I mean when I have the matrix, asso matrix associated with it. Okay. So next here we have these two other matrices and they are the matrices associated with the Sobel filter. Um, one of them, the GX, is going to be the operator for the x direction, whereas the gy is going to be, you guessed it, for the y direction. Um, take a look at the values. So we're going to be taking that image. Let me show right here. So we're going to be multiplying. Let me place a here again just to have it. So we're going to be applying, when, when, we, when I apply gx and gy, so on and so forth, to this matrix a, to this patch, of image here, we're going to be doing operations of these elements to these elements. Okay, so for example, this line of code, this line of code right here, is going to be the pointwise multiplication of both gx and gy to a. So if we want to find out what GX pointwise point wise multiplication is going to output like 1 times 119 plus 0 times 80 minus 1 times 122 all the way to 
minus 1 times 152. This line of code is what's doing it. So as you can see, we get this output for G x when applied to A, and we get this value when we applied to 110. Um, and uh, the output of, of both the, the uh, both GX and GY when applied to the matrix A, we're going to want to take um, the hypotenuse, if you will, uh, to get the output value for the pixel. So what I'm doing in this line here is nothing more than taking the sum of these values squared and then taking the square root. So we get something like 174.91. So this, this is at the heart of what we're, we're going to be doing in the next video to obtain the edge detected image from this method.